Finally guys, I have gotten the notification in my phone Yanaki vaccination confirm my Richie And today the open pating na iniki Hi guys, my name is Jay and welcome to Jay's Vlogs Okay guys, so vaccination is only done. So if you are vaccination, you can get vaccination. That is not the case. I am vaccination for the first time. So that's why I am going to go to the next one. And actually, when the day, you know, father go on the day, uh, vaccination, the worry, the culture, and it's same timing as well. So that's why when the day. We are actually gonna go together. So I need to wait for my dad to come back from work at the moment. I think he'll be back in about 10 to 15 minutes. So on the gap, I know the other one. Two hours later. Mother, you get a phone at just running like me. Get a vaccine or something. Hey, I get your vlog. Get a good idea for the night. Now, what a reaction. Okay guys, so vaccine for TV to give one that cheap and uh, before I say anything else a big 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 sorry to you guys or proper procedure and then you love me on the best one on the Till we sat on my game wait one minute Okay Sound is better now. I guess I think this is like a one of the biggest letdown for me when doing vlog now the day procedure I should pull on any chance But in a china on the day I wasn't able to shoot because first the timing uh, and the other on the day, the vaccination center will be closed by 9 o'clock. So when I got on the info, uh, my vaccination is today and I, I need to be there by 9 o'clock. I need to wait for Appa because both of us have the same day, same date vaccination. So I wanted to go together. So uh, once you get back from work, both of us went to the vaccination center, which was around 8.30. So everyone there was working fast to make sure all the process can be completed by 9 o'clock. So the scanning, uh, all the confirmation was extremely fast. Even like the whole process took me like below 5 minutes to complete it. I suppose I can give you an update on uh, how the side effects are. Now, if you side effects, you can't get a side effect. You can't get a side effect. You can't get a side effect because I'm a right handed guy. So, left hand on the Kutirka, and uh, as I said, yes, just numbness of the But I give you certain updates like uh, the nose pass, and chain, what are the side effects. I will give you updates, don't worry about that. And of course, I will explain verbally what are the procedures, what happened, and etc. Hey guys, um, okay, I know that I told you that I'll give you some hourly update on how is my uh, pain after the first dose vaccination, but I'm really sorry for not telling that because I was quite busy for the past few days. Hence, uh, I'm gonna give you everything right now. Alright, actually, I vaccinated around like 9 o'clock at night. 
So after coming home, I just ate a Panadol because I had a bit of numbness and then uh, in the morning the numbness was still there. It turned to be a light, just a slight pain. But after that, uh, it's just everything is okay. Yeah, after that, I didn't have any severe pains, fever, being feverish or having like, a, or what do you say, shivering or whatnot, uh, nothing. It's just I was totally fine. I just have a bit of numbness and that's it. And let me tell you right now, how did the process went? So, first of all, what happened? All right. So when we entered to the vaccination center and then uh, outside there, they're going to ask us, do you have appointment? Is it your first dose? To which we said yes. And we showed our phone. This is the appointment and so on. And then they said, OK, go inside. And then going inside, they have a temperature scanner where it actually scans your face to some infrared technology. I'm not sure. And then it just detects your temperature, showing the screen, saying that your temperature is fine. So everything was good. Next, what happened was they will give us a form, which was just like two steps away from the temperature scanner where they're going to guide us on uh, what to write and so on so everything was very easy and fast because there's someone to assist you and even so uh, they might just do it for you as well just to speed up the process after that what happens is that you will go to a room uh, and then uh, what happens there is that they'll have uh, multiple counters where they will ask your my Sajatra to show your appointment and then just make sure everything and then scan the QR code right there to show that you have arrived and then once everything is done there you can go you can wait for your turn to get vaccinated there I think they have around like um, 20 stations or even 25 I'm not really sure but that's the range 20 to 25 stations and then uh, just go in there and uh, once you go uh, get vaccinated and then you can uh, go to the counter there to get your second dose appointment but something which made me kind of piss off is because for this vlog, I actually the main aim of me doing vlog is that to show that I'm getting vaccinated. Hence, getting the footage of me getting injected is very important. But still, what happened there was I'm just putting the phone on my lap. It's just there with the camera turned on. That's it. But then when he saw me and he immediately said, no, you can't record here. I'm like, wait, what? Why? And then he said, yeah, you can't record here. You have no permissions here, blah, blah, blah. But I didn't want to fight with him. That might just prolong the whole process, right? So I didn't do anything there. But then when I came home, that's when I saw the news. It's like two days after my vaccination, I saw on World of Bus saying that you are not allowed to take videos of yourself getting vaccinated at the vaccination center. I'm like, why? Why is it when I want to do it? That's when this happened. That's what I really felt, but what to do? That's all for this vlog. Just explain what's the whole process and also what's the side effect. And for you guys to know uh, what vaccine that I'm injected with, it's actually Sinovac. But of course, you guys need to understand that not everyone will have the same body type, the same uh, health level and so on. So some people may find it a bit more painful. Some people may find it is just like easy peasy, no problem at all. So for that, I just wanted to like sum up like how do people find like for different vaccination and what are the side effects and so on. So I've actually collected certain video clips of my friends and also my contacts that sharing their experience of their vaccination which I'll be playing right in a moment and hope you guys summarize yourself saying that okay so this is pretty much what you get for this vaccination these side effects of course most of the side effects are going to be the same but at least you can see what are the common and uh, what are the most common side effects that people actually going through for the particular vaccination so in this video i think i'm trying to bring in uh, pfizer astrazeneca and sinovac since that's the only three right now in malaysia hope you guys really can summarize from it let's start right now hi my name is angita i got pfizer vaccine and um, it the process was quite easy the entire thing was done within 15 to 20 minutes i got my shot in uh, sunway convention center immediately after my first dose i didn't have any side effects but after my second dose i did feel a little bit feverish and i had a uh, arm pain but apart from that the after the third day i was already well hi my name is eric my vaccine name is pfizer biontech my vaccination location is ppv day one banquet posada plus actually the process of the vaccination was very smooth people who in charge in and each every section did very good cool and they managed to do it very well on that day i have a little bit of pain on my hand so i took two panel and take rest so the next day i feel okay so no other side effect for me hashtag stay safe 
Hi, my name is Lena Vijaya Kumar. The vaccine that I have gotten was Pfizer. My vaccination was done in Ampong Hospital. It was on the last week of May when I took my first dose of Pfizer. It was a stressful week for me as it was also my exam week. I took the jab on Friday. My exam was only about to end on Sunday. After taking the vaccination, I rushed back home and took a four-hour nap. Waking up later that evening, my arm felt sore. I just ignored the pain and continued doing my papers. I did not rest until the day of my submission which was Sunday. For the three days duration my arm was as its worst level of pain. I couldn't carry up my arm to change my clothes, to reach for sugar up my kitchen cabinet, or even comb my hair. The left hand was basically useless. After taking rest for hours after my exam, I have realized that the pain has tremendously decreased. As for my second dose, I did not felt any pain or discomfort around my arm. No fever or flu, or even other symptoms. Moral of my story is please rest up. Your arm needs that rest and your body needs sleep. Special thanks to Jay for letting me share my experience in this platform. Hi, I'm Kumuda. Yes, I got my vaccination uh, at the SPCC, Sanvi Pyramid Convention Center. Uh, the process of getting this vaccination was really good, was very systematic and very well managed. I got my notification on the uh, vaccination one week earlier, so I was well prepared for the vaccination. Uh, when I reached there, there's a lot of people actually, there's a lot of people, but it was very systematically managed. Uh, we were given proper uh, place to wait and also uh, we were given a complete consultation regarding the vaccination. And uh, after I got my vaccination, they asked us to wait uh, for another 20 minutes to see if we get any serious allergies regard, uh, due to the vaccination. And uh, I was given Pfizer. Uh, the first dose, uh, the side effect was uh, very uh, mild. I just had a fever for that on, only for one day and uh, I took a paracetamol and it was okay. But uh, uh, the effect, the side effect for the second vaccination was quite bad. Um, nearly uh, for four days, I was having fever for nearly four days. And uh, also there was uh, inflammation uh, at the uh, injected uh, arm and uh, also swollen, okay, swollen and there was inflammation. And uh, I went to clinic, I do consult the doctor regarding this and they say it is normal. Uh, so it, it seems it's a, it's a good sign that uh, your body is reacting to the antibody. Okay, so hopefully uh, everyone get the vaccination and uh, this is the only way we can uh, break the chain of COVID-19. Thank you. I got my Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine last week in KLCC and I must say that it was a pleasant experience. Apart from that, the vaccination process was quick and hurt only a little, as would any kind of other injections. From the time of my arrival, the whole process took less than two hours. My anxiety was reduced by the whole process which was systematic and quick. Of course, the assuring presence of the PPV staff, especially the doctors, did wonders. The side effects vary widely but it is very rare that you will experience severe reactions. As for me, I experienced pain and swelling at the injected area and was tired for about 3 days. Hopefully, the pleasant experience will spur more Malaysians to register for vaccination. Thank you. My name is Daniel and I have gotten Sinovac vaccine. I took my vaccine at Section 7, Shah Alam. My overall experience was great as the service and cooperation given was at the best. They even gave a clear briefing before filling up the required forms to make us understand. Besides that, light breakfast like Milo, bread and mineral water was prepared for those waiting for their name to be called. The nurse did show me all the required information before I got vaccinated. As for the side effect, I was not sure if I was the only one to feel this but I was super hungry after first and second dose. Twice the hungry than usual. Otherwise, I was completely fine, that's all from me for now. Thank you so much.
Hi everyone, uh, my name is Asha. So recently I got vaccinated. Uh, actually, it's kind of an uh, interesting journey because I applied for my vaccination around March and I got my vaccination last month. And I got my Sinovac. So coming to the side effect, uh, it was actually fine. Just a numb feeling. Um, uh, around my elbow side and kind of dizzy the first two days kind of like tired you know so that's all for my vaccination story because um, I was actually literally I waited for three to four months like that so yeah so I got Sinovac and there's no much uh, noticeable side effects and I'm feeling healthy actually and I was quite happy because I got vaccinated so yeah